Hi, everyone. This is Lily Ray again, and I'm here to talk again about some updates in Google's SGE, Search Generative Experience. And today I'm going to be talking about some controversial topics and how they currently appear for me in Search Generative Experience. Um, some important disclaimers about SGE. I mention this pretty much every time I do talk about SGE. Um, it's very important to understand that it's still being tested. It's changing and improving every day. So I want to be very clear that what I'm seeing today might not be what anybody else sees in their instance of SGE. Tomorrow, I might see something completely different. Google is completely adjusting this thing all the time. You know, I could come back tonight and search for the same queries and see something completely different. That's how it's intended to work. It's a work in progress. And Google's still actively collecting feedback from people who are testing SGE. So, you know, any of the queries that we look at today, Google is encouraging us to kind of go into the SGE product and then hit that thumbs up or thumbs down button, provide feedback, go back to Google Labs, tell them what's working and what's not. So there is very much still a lot of information in SGE that needs to be improved. They're fully aware of that. Um, and it's still only available to a number of testers in the US. Um, it's only available on Chrome desktop or the Google app on iOS or Android. So it's not rolled out publicly. Um, people in different countries are still not seeing it. So again, it's still a limited group of testers. And we are not really able to analyze SGE data in Search Console yet. So a lot of people are asking about how this impacts organic traffic and things like this. We don't quite know yet because we don't have that data directly in Search Console. Now, as far as today's discussion goes, I wanna also lay out some important disclaimers about today's video. Um, today, I'm gonna be talking about my own personal opinions about Search Generative Experience. Everybody is welcome to their own opinion about when it should appear, when it should not appear, whether or not controversial topics should trigger SGE results or not. Everyone is entitled to have their own beliefs about SGE and how it works. And with that, uh, this video is also intended to show a number of queries for which I believe it's probably in Google's best interest to not show SGE. Again, it's a matter of opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Google can do whatever it wants, frankly, but these are just queries that I think are controversial in nature. And I think that the idea of showing an AI generated response is not great for honestly, like society at whole. Um, also, I wanna be clear that the queries that I'm showing here are not intended to be reflections of my own social or political views. I'm going to try to not share my own beliefs as we go through the queries, but these are controversial topics where people do have strong opinions. And this is why I think that they should largely be um, not shown in Google's SGE. And some of this content might be a little bit controversial or offensive. Um, just be aware of that. This is kind of the point of this video is to show that some of this stuff um, can be sensitive to people. So I just want to lay that out before we get started. So with all of that being said, I would like to show a number of different queries that I typed into Google today and I saw in SGE today these results. Um, I have them all saved on my browser here because I just went through these and I, I opened them all up today. Again, you might see something completely different in your own version of SGE. Um, but basically, I want to start by showing uh, the query why guns are good. And SGE provided a number of reasons why guns are good. I thought that it was interesting that it says that it demonstrates being a law abiding citizen. Carrying a gun can demonstrate that you are a law-abiding citizen. I think that's a matter of opinion. And there's also places in the United States where it's not legal to carry guns, such as New York City, without a permit. So that's not necessarily true, that it demonstrates being a law-abiding citizen. On that note, you can ask SGE, is it legal for me to carry a gun? And SGE says it's legal to carry a concealed handgun in public in all 50 states. And then it goes on to say, here are some states where it's legal to carry a gun without a permit. And then it says New York and New Jersey, both of which require a permit or a license to, uh, to carry a gun. So this is a bit confusing because it says legal to carry without a permit. And then it literally says you need a permit. So again, Google, you know, puts a disclaimer here. This is not legal advice, but not only that, it's, it's, um, contradictory advice. So I think that that's pretty prob problematic. Next, I asked, is it legal to carry a gun in New York City? So just to kind of contradict what it said on the last query, where, you know, 
it's legal to carry a gun without a permit. And then it lists New York. It then goes on to say that it's only legal to carry a gun in New York if you have a permit. So it's just a little bit nuanced. And I think it's very tricky for Google to show this information in SGE. Next is uh, some queries around slavery. So SGE appears to be uh, showing for queries, some queries related to, to slavery. This question was, was slavery beneficial? And it provides a number of reasons why some say that slavery was beneficial, mostly economic reasons. So it generated wealth. Again, twice slaves provided wealth, slavery generated wealth. The only thing it mentions about um, arguments against slavery in this answer is that it was inherently unprofitable. So it doesn't mention any other downsides of slavery in this answer. I also said, tell me why slavery was good. And SGE went on to say there are a number of reasons why it was considered a positive good. So, you know, largely economic reasons. It also mentioned that some say that slaves used, learned useful skills. Enslaved Africans were a cheaper and more plentiful labor source than indentured servants who were mostly poor Europeans. So the fact that Africans were cheaper is supposedly a benefit of slavery, according to SGE. So that's slavery. There's actually a number of other slavery queries that you can generate. So you might want to look at that on your own. Um, next question is what causes climate change? Now, again, controversial topic, many different beliefs. SGE is providing one clear answer that it's caused by, you know, the buildup of greenhouse gases, human activities, uh, burning fossil fuels, driving cars, cre creating electricity and cutting down forests. It also mentions using transportation, which I thought was interesting, producing food and consuming too much. So again, <laughs> everyone's entitled to their own belief, but this is what SGE is conveying as the answer to this question. Similarly, ca causes of climate change, uh, we have you know driving cars, we have creating electricity, producing food. Perhaps some will not consider this controversial, but I do believe that others might disagree. Another query is, should children drink milk? So this is a topic that is debated in the nutrition community, in the medical community. And Google has been doing a lot to uh, convey medical and scientific consensus in other parts of Google search, such as featured snippets and Google's organic rankings. So this could be, this could explain how SGE generates its answers. Perhaps Google's using the sources that it believes are highly authoritative for other um, medical you know, uses on Google. But it's, it's a fact that this is a controversial question and that there's different viewpoints to this question. So SGE is really providing one viewpoint here about why milk is an important part of children's diets, but uh, there's plenty of other research that indicates otherwise. Similarly, GMOs are a very controversial topic. So according to SGE, which again, it says it's from the FDA. So at least it's saying where it's got its information from without links, because this, as of two days ago, I'm no longer seeing links in SGE. I'm in that test group. GMO foods are as safe and helpful as non-GMO foods, but then some other studies say that they may cause toxic effects, such as all these different types of effects. So perhaps that's a more balanced answer, uh, but I know that this is a, another topic that is pretty controversial in the medical and nutrition community. Next, I asked S SGE if I will go to heaven and, or will I go to heaven? And SGE is pulling its information specifically from the Bible. And, you know, it's through forgiveness, through righteousness that Jesus gives you. The only unforgivable sin is blasphemy. So this is all according to the Bible, which is maybe okay, but there are other religions that believe in heaven and have other ways of going to heaven in those religions, according to those religions. So I don't know that it's right or fair for SGE to only be referencing the Bible in this case. Similarly, I asked SGE how to teach children about God. And it basically took at face value that children should learn about God and the answers here are mostly reflective of uh, Christianity. And for example, um, encourage children to create a daily quiet time habit where they learn to grow close to God each day through Bible study. So this indicates obviously that 
children are learning the Bible as a way to learn about God, which is not always the case. There are other religions. And many of these do uh, reflect Christian Christianity, which again, it's fine. It's one religion, but there are other religions as well. So I didn't type Christianity. And I think that this is a bit limited in nature um, and perhaps a bit biased towards one religion. Why children should believe in God. And again, this is information that SGE is almost presenting as if it's just objectively true. Why children should believe in God, which is to me a subjective question. Um, and supposedly according to SGE, uh, believing in God can, can provide a protective figure during tough times. Children are part of God's plan. They're born believing in God. And they might be more willing to accept counterintuitive phenomena. So, okay, that's, that's one viewpoint, but that's the one that SGE wants us to read. I asked when the United States was at its greatest. And according to SGE, the United States was at its greatest in the 1950s. And this was also the atomic age of science and technology. So I know many people believe this, hence it appearing in SGE, but I also think this is a subjective question, a controversial question. And I think there were many groups in the 1950s who would not agree that this was when the United States was at, at its greatest. Uh, this is something I've been looking at for a while now. Um, there's a number of best queries, you know, best plus profession, where SGE tends to show either all men or a lot more men than women. So today I typed best chefs. And today every single one of these is a man. What's interesting is when you go down here and you look at Google's knowledge graph, which has been here for a while, um, it still leans towards men for sure, but there are a number of women. In fact, today, not as many as normal. I'm looking for Julia Child. I'm not sure if she's even here, but <laughs> not a lot of women in here either today, but sometimes you'll see a much more diverse set of results in Google's knowledge graph. But the fact that this is showing with SGE to me is a bit controversial because I think the idea that AI should be ranking humans or appearing for any query related to best humans is problematic intrinsically. Uh, similarly, I typed most effective CEOs. So again, all men, um, this has been pretty consistent as I've been looking at it throughout the past couple of weeks. Then again, you'll see um, popular CEOs according to Google's knowledge graph, again, very much weighted towards men, which makes sense because generally speaking, there have been more men than women CEOs. Um, but at least we do have a little bit more diversity in here. We have a, a, a few women appearing in the list as well. Best Hispanic people. There's a number of queries where you can type a certain cultural uh, or uh, nationality or ethnic group and the word best and SGE will appear. So in the case of best Hispanic people, supposedly Jennifer Lopez is the best Hispanic person followed by Rita Moreno and Shakira, Gloria Stefan. So they're women in this case. Um, but again, I think it's a bit troubling that people are being ranked. And also SGE is basically conflating the word best with most famous. And I'm not sure that those two things are actually synonymous. Um, next, I typed best Christian men of all time. And again, pretty subjective answer, but I thought it was a bit strange that Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as Mary of Clopas were <laughs> listed as men. Uh, they're not men. Next, I typed, what is the best religion? So again, best. Like I, I just personally think that it's a bit troubling to uh, have any AI answer if you're ranking people, religions, countries, nationalities, anything like this. But lo and behold, SGE tells us that Christianity is <laughs> the most or popular around the United States and the world. So it's taking best here and it's considering it synonymous with popular, which is not what I typed. But According to SG, we have Christianity, Hinduism, and Islam. There are obviously other religions in the world. Um, so there's atheism, there's Buddhism, there's Judaism, and those religions are not listed here. So if the average person typed what is the best religion, you're not gonna have you're not gonna see a full full view of all the possible religions. And I think it's problematic for a search engine to, to display th things this way. Next we have who is God. Um, so again, we have a few different perspectives about who God is. 
Um, you might notice that this is largely pulled from Christianity, Wikipedia uh, pages about Christianity. Again, we're not seeing God, the definition of God according to non-Christian religions in this result. And there's certainly other perspectives about who God is. Um, I also typed, tell me about God. Again, Google SGE really just assumed that I meant a Christian God. So it starts with in Christianity. And in fact, this entire result is about Christianity. So again, there are other religions, there are other views about God, and those are not mentioned here at all. I asked how I can get into heaven. According to the Bible, there's only one way to get into heaven. Now, I <laughs> was curious, does heaven actually exist outside of Christianity? Many religions, including Christianity, Islam, and many pagan belief systems, um, essentially believe in the afterlife. So asking about how I can get into heaven, I don't know that that always implies Christianity, but SGE is only really pulling from the Bible to answer this question. Next is a controversial topic, are wars justified? And SGE is providing an opinion. <laughs> War can be justified if it's necessary to protect people or defend the innocent from danger. Um, then it's saying wars of aggression are considered unjust. So again, I don't have any specific belief I wanna share here. I'm just showing that this is, this is very much considered a highly controversial question. And SGE, perhaps it's showing a more balanced answer here, but I think it's a bit uh, bizarre for AI to answer this question at all. So is there a moral obligation for affluent countries to aid poorer ones? Another controversial question. And again, to Google's credit, to SGE's credit, there is a more balanced answer here. It shows that some argue that rich nations do have a moral obligation to aid poorer nations. Um, <laughs> other argues that the fortunate have a moral obligation to help the unfortunate. So it's kind of saying the same thing. Then it says the failure of people in rich nations to make significant sacrifices to help the poorest is ethically indefensible. So SGE is no longer showing links clearly in my answers. I know this is a test that Google's been rolling out for different groups. Um, as of two days ago, I don't have links. So without a link here, um, it, it just kind of seems like this is something that SGE is conveying as its own opinion. Obviously, you can click here. This is how SGE works. Um, now I can see that this is tied to this site. And if you open the site in a new window, it should jump to that website, netivist.org, their opinion about um, whether or not this is ethically defensible. But the way that SGE is conveying it, because there's no link, it really does seem like this is Google's opinion. And next, should bathrooms be gender neutral? Again, controversial topic, people have different beliefs and SGE is showing reasons why they should, why bathrooms should be gender neutral. So I don't know whether or not this is controversial because maybe we're asking, you know, should they be? And it's giving reasons why they should be, but I think some people would take issue with this result. Positive effects of banning books. So, According to Google, according to SGE, it's good to ban books because it prevents exposure to offensive content, which might be subjective. It increases civic behavior. And then it says banned books are associated with increased civic behavior and low risk of antisocial behavior. I'm not entirely clear what that means. Banned books are good because it increases sales. So basically the controversy can increase sales for some authors, that's why it's good. It increases empathy to ban books. So it opens them up to different cultures. Books can open up people to different cultures, not banned books. So already this doesn't make sense in the context here. And it increases understanding. Reading banned books can increase empathy and understanding of different views. I don't think that reading banned books is a positive effect of banning books. So again, I'm not trying to convey my own political opinions here. I'm just trying to show that these are subjective questions and I think it's very risky for Google to use SGE to answer them. Curious to hear what your thoughts are. So I just thought I'd share that. Uh, enjoy your own experiences using SGE and have a great weekend, everyone.